as we get older, does it get better? Or if we get more successful, does it get better? Maybe both. I think it just becomes, you, you just become more comfortable with yourself and in your decisions and your views on things. And I think you just, you know, when you're younger, sometimes I think you're, you, you want people to like you and, you know, you get a bit older and you think, I don't really care, to be honest. This is, this is it. If you don't like it, then, you know, so, and that, and I think you just get that confidence as you get a bit older. I don't know whether you would agree with that. Yeah, but. I really yeah. I think what, what starts out as being sort of a bit of cocky bravado and, you know, underneath you kind of probably shaking in your boots a little mm. bit, but you kind of set up your stall about 10 metres in front of yourself and, yeah. and hide behind that a little bit. And I think that gradually becomes like, you know, a little hard knocks you know you gather a little bit of wisdom and confidence and like you say you know maybe a thicker skin actually is what you end up with and you know things get taken less personally maybe as as, as time goes by but that's certainly my experience mm, sure Jackie yeah well in the early days I was I was um I didn't see myself as a front person um because it was John Renborn, and Bert Janch, great guitar players and a lot of the audience were men they were all young guys watching their fingers because they, you know, wanted to play like them. And I, but now that I am the front person in the band and it's, um, I couldn't have done it then. When I was younger, I could not have done it. I wouldn't have had the confidence. Um, I would have just, well, I wouldn't have been in the business full stop, but I, I have more, I don't say I have more confidence, but I, no one else is going to do it. It's me. Mm. If I want to do this, then it's got to be me in the front and saying what goes on. But I have a lot of help because I know a lot of great musicians and I'm very lucky. All through my life, I've known such great musicians, mainly men. But I have to say one of the, the best ex recording experiences I had was being uh, doing backing vocals with three other women. And we had such a laugh. It was such good fun. What was that for? It was for a guy called David Hughes, who's not very well known. <coughs> He's a great songwriter. And it was with Chris Wilde, Julie Matthews and Helen... I've forgotten Helen's name. Oh, I'm sorry, Helen. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, thank you. But we had such a laugh. And we were talking about other musicians and, and who we'd worked with. And uh, you know, and they left. They were recording it. Oh, hello. There's another <laughs> instance of yeah. us being on. Whoops. <laughs> and we, and we, we were talking about other the, uh, men, you know, male musicians that we'd worked with. And we were probably telling tales. And we said, if you, they, they said, well, we could actually, um, you know, play this out, you know, but they didn't. They promised they wouldn't actually because <laughs> we were being quite honest. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a brilliant experience. That, yeah. that got very well received, that album, didn't it? Well, the David Hughes album? Yeah. The, the, yeah, the, I mean, the, he's Q such magazine a... magazine loved it, didn't yeah, they? He, yeah, he's such a great songwriter. Very funny. Helen Watson. Helen Watson. Helen Excellent. Watson. Got there in the end. Brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so a younger act, are they better or worse for acceptance and support? Are you finding... What, what about... Catherine, how are you finding the younger prog acts? I think in terms of genre, prog is one of the most progressive in terms of attitudes as well. Um, from having a venue that deals with a lot of different types of genre. Um, my sound engineer is actually a girl. She's 22 and a force of nature in herself. Um, she doesn't need any direction in how to stand up for herself. But the number of times that... Um, the venue is run with just the two of us on some nights. So, you know, the sound engineer being a girl and the venue owner being myself, the number of gentlemen that will walk in directly to us and just ask for anyone in authority um, is diminishing, but it is certainly still there. And I, th I think it's, it's not an age thing as far as I can gather because we've, had you know, teenagers come in and ask Heather, um, the sound engineer, who they should actually be speaking to, as much as we've had older gentlemen come in and just go straight up to her and just say, right, you're in charge. So I, I think it's probably a similar thing to any life situation. It depends on your upbringing. It depends on what female examples you've had as you're growing up. Maybe if you've been brought up with a strong mother, and you see a lady behind a sound desk, maybe you are more um, pre-programmed to assume that she has the right to be there. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe if you've had 
four brothers and a father and you don't have a mother and you see a lady behind a sound desk, maybe you think that she's there to clean it. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that that is the case, but I, um, I certainly, I have seen it diminish in importance in a way that's really encouraging, but it's certainly something that is not a ubiquitous assumption that we are able to run it without checking with somebody else that we are allowed to do so. Mm -hmm. um, Heather and Christina, you will be mixing with some younger up and coming artists and how are you finding your dealings with them? Um, well, I haven't had any bad experiences. Um, the, the only thing that I will say that, uh, and, and it was an interview that I did where somebody asked me um, how I felt about the fact that I was older and there were a lot of young, pretty young girls coming up through what? the scene. What? And I won't mention any names, but that was a question that kind of floored me a little bit because I thought that, you know, I'd never even <laughs> thought about it at all. Um, but no, it, I, you know, Percy it is great now to see a lot of uh, younger women and, you know, for somebody like yourself as well. Certainly, it's, it's quite rare, I think, when you find younger women that are coming up and doing what you're doing now, like promoting and, you know, owning a venue and promoting events and things like that. It's really good to... Well, that was my next question, see. actually, to see um, how supportive women are in this, in this scene. We're finding that, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. What about I think you, Anna? you instantly understand oh, what the issue is. So you're naturally more inclined to be supportive of somebody when you know what their struggles are because you've had them yourself. Yeah. Anna, are you coming across quite a lot of ladies in the scene who are supportive? Um, there's no competition. Yeah, everything. I, my answers are, are pretty boring because I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really um, making any bad experiences. Everything's very respectful and there but there's also not the question of who is female and who is male it's just just getting on with it we just mix and you either get on or you don't and there's there's assholes in in all genders you know <laughs> yeah ariana um i have to say that i'm not working with as many women as i would like to because I think it's a very nice experience always, because there are certain things that you can just talk about and exchange experiences, and which is very liberating and makes you feel like you're not alone with these problems. But uh, I had this very nice experience recently, actually, a couple of weeks ago. I've been working on the song that was very personal and very difficult to, to record. I, I just, I, I couldn't, I had like a meltdown in the studio. And then I posted about it on Twitter and a friend of mine, um, Catherine Ann Jones, she's actually um, signed to Kesko. Uh, the Anchorites. The Anchorites, yeah. yeah. So she just replied to me that I should come over to her studio and we will work on it together and I'll get all the hugs and uh, hot chocolate and stuff like that. <laughs> and I thought maybe I should. Uh, so because I think, because it's a very difficult subject, it's about like, um, oh, ouch, sexual abuse. Uh, so it's, it's not something that you can sing about easily. Um, and uh, maybe it's going to be easier to do that if you have like another woman in the studio. Mm. Um, so, uh, so yeah, maybe that's going to be the plan. Mm. Um, but that was a great experience and I just hope I'll be able to get um, to work with more ladies. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Jackie? I think women have more empathy with other women. I mean, when I get to get with my girlfriends, you know, there aren't that many of them left anymore, but you know, the, um, we're relaxed. We don't have to feel that we have to put the in competition. And I think sometimes, well, you do feel like that if you're in a, a, with a load of men. I mean, I have to say that through my career, I've worked with some wonderful chaps, really wonderful. But if I found in the early days, if you try to put some, a, a suggestion forward or something, you would talk down. It was... Um, you might be mid-sentence and someone would talk over the top of you. Mm. But I don't think women do that. I think mm. women are much better listeners. Mm. 